Hey guys, it's Gabby. For today's video, I have some Valentine's Day nail ideas. All of these are really easy to do, so perfect if you're a beginner or you're looking for some simple nail art. Getting right into it, I started by applying OPI's Bare My Soul as my base color, and then I'm applying one coat of Essie Speed Sitter Top Coat, and you're gonna let that dry. You wanna make sure that dries completely because we're gonna be using French Tip Nail Vinyls. I get these from Amazon, and I'll have everything I'm using linked down below for you guys. But after that, I'm gonna grab a white nail polish, and I'm just gonna fill in that area above the tape. And you do wanna work quickly because you do not want this nail polish to dry. So as soon as you're done, remove the tape, and I like to pull it going towards the wet nail polish, that way I get that nice clean line. All right, next we're gonna add some hearts. So I decided to use a toothpick for this and it's not the best method, but it is the quickest in my opinion. So I really just take the toothpick, dip it in the polish and then make a dot and drag it down. And I do that from both sides. So again, it's not gonna give you the neatest heart. It's more of a doodle heart, but I think it looks really cute with the French tip. And I will show you guys another method to make hearts that I typically use a little later in the video, but I just put two to three on each nail, added a top coat, and here's how it turned out. It's so cute. I really like it. It's like dainty. Okay, hear me out. If you're not in the mood to do nail art for Valentine's Day, I feel like you cannot go wrong with a plain pink mani. And I am slightly biased because pink is my favorite color, but this color in particular, this is Essie, but get me not. I love the shade. It's completely opaque in two coats. It looks so pretty. It's like in between a pink, almost lilac, baby pink, sort of, I don't know. But it's so good. I'm almost out of this bottle. I need to get a new one. Finish it off with a top coat and you're done. Simple, easy, you can't go wrong. You really can't. If that one is just too plain for you, I have a way to change it up just a little bit. So I'm starting off with that same light pink base color and I'm gonna grab a darker pink and use the brush from the bottle and just swipe it going across the corner of my nail. This right here is real time. I did not chop it or speed it up or anything. That's how quick it is to do. So this one I tried to slow down just to show you guys. As I'm swiping the brush, I'm also slightly moving my finger away. That's just gonna help give you a straight line without any shakiness. And I'm just using the extra nail polish from that line and dragging it towards the tip to fill in that area. I hope that makes sense. I have finished this by applying a glossy top coat. And I actually, I didn't do the matte, surprisingly, but I just really like the glossy here, so I just left it there. For the next part of the video, I partnered up with Melody Susie. If you don't know who they are, they have a wide range of nail accessories, nail lamps, drills, brushes, and of course, gel polish, which we'll be using today. And I do have a code for you guys. You can use code GABBY12 for 12% off, and I will have their website linked down below. For the first gel design, we're gonna be using Melody Susie's Dance In My Room. This is a nice hot pink shade. And keep in mind, this is my first time trying their gel polish, you guys. I was not prepared. Do you see how opaque this is? Especially for a gel polish, I only had to do one coat. So basically what I'm doing, I'm taking the brush and I'm sliding it across the corner of my nail, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. You do wanna try to get them to match as close as you can, and it's gonna create that heart shape. I cannot tell you guys how long I've been waiting to do this design, because normally I have a square shape, so when you try this out, it just, it's still cute, but it doesn't give the same heart effect. And because it was only a one coater, after that I just cured my nails and then finished by applying a glossy top coat. And I will also show you guys what it looks like matte, just so you can see it, but I think I prefer this one glossy too. For the next design, we're doing pretty much the same thing, but slightly different. We're gonna be using the shade Cherry Boom, and it's a nice bright red, perfect for Valentine's Day. And just like before, we're gonna start at each corner and drag the brush down, but this time we're going for a shorter heart shape and we're also gonna round the top more. So it's easier to watch it than me explaining, but I'm just gonna take it, round it, and then do the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, it's still that French tip, but it's a more of a heart. And I actually like this one a lot better. Again, really opaque, easy to work with. I was really happy with the formulas and it's just so cute. I cannot wait till you guys see what this looks like with a matte top coat because all the designs in this video, I think I preferred glossy, but this in matte, look at that. You can't tell me, even if you don't like matte, that is gorgeous. I love that so much. I think it's so cute. I might be doing my nails like this this year. We'll see. 
With the next design, we are starting off with a light pink base. This is the shade Pink Cream. And even though it's a really light color, this was still only two coats. So I went ahead, applied those two coats, and now we are gonna be making some hearts. So this is the method that I typically use. And they actually have a brush that's double-sided. It has a dotting tool. And then on the other end, it has a small brush, which is perfect for making hearts because you need both. So I'm gonna take that same hot pink color and I'm gonna start by making two dots right next to each other, barely touching, but not like overlapping or anything. And then I'm gonna take the other side of that brush, the small end, and just start slowly dragging both sides down to create that point of the heart. So really take your time with this. It's gel, so it's not gonna dry too quickly and it's just gonna give you a nice, perfect heart. I ended up doing two on this nail, and then on other nails, I just did one. Really up to you, and also, it just depends how big your nails are. Also, if you did this design using a white base and then Cherry Boom as your hearts, that would also be really cute. Here's how the design turned out, really subtle. And again, I like the glossy here. I don't know what's going on with me. The matte was okay, but I just feel like the glossy, it was it. The next idea is perfect if you want something plain, but you want a little oomph to it. We are gonna be applying the shade Valentine's Evening. Even the name, that just shows how perfect it is for Valentine's Day. So this is a really sparkly red, almost a jelly kind of formula, and it is so pretty and also very opaque. You can get away with one coat, but I wanted that second coat just to add more dimension to my nail. So I applied one coat, cured that, and then here is the second coat. And I am so happy, after I was done swatching this, the sun came out, so you guys will be able to see how it looks in the sun. It is gorgeous. But I wanna know which look was your favorite. Again, I will have all the nail products linked down below for you guys, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.